So I'm beginning the body section of my anchor tee and I am ready to separate the stitches for the sleeves from the body. My first instruction is that I need to knit the right back stitches, which I've already completed. Here's my beginning of round, so I've knit up to my first raglan stitch here. I'm going to get rid of my marker. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to knit my raglan stitch. And then I'm going to put the rest of the stitches removing this second marker here on hold. And there are a couple methods of doing this. My favorite is to use one of my interchangeable cords here. My shortest one, I'm going to slip all of my sleeve stitches, which are the stitches up until the next markers for my raglan stitch at the front of my sleeve. So I'm gonna slip all of these stitches onto this extra short cable so that they are already on a cable and ready to be knit when I go back to my sleeve and start knitting the sleeve. Now I might not be able to use this cable. I might need to use a longer cable to do magic loop. We will talk about that in a future meeting. I might need to use double pointed needles depending on the size of your sleeve. You might not be able to use this cord. But that's okay. This is a good way to hold the stitches anyway while we're knitting the rest of our body. So when I get to the end of my sleeve stitches, I'm going to need to cast on a certain number of stitches for the underarm of my sleeve so that I can continue knitting around the body stitches. And there are a couple ways of casting on those stitches. All right, and I'm gonna show you the one that's recommended in our pattern here. So I've just gotten to my raglan stitch here. And I'm going to just remove this first marker. I'm leaving the raglan stitch on my left needle. Here are the stitches on hold. And later I'll remove the needle tips and just put my end caps on to hold those stitches so they don't come off of the needles here. But what I've got at this point are some stitches on my right needle for the front or the right back of my T. So these are my front back stitches. Here's my first sleeve. And then this is the front of my sweater. And I need to connect the two, the right and the left needle. So we need to add on some underarm stitches here. And according to my size, I need to cast on eight stitches. So I picked up that little stitch that I dropped there and I took the opportunity to put the end caps on so I wouldn't have too many needles in this video going on. So here we are back at our cast on for our underarm stitches and I need to cast on a few stitches here onto my right needle and what I like to do before I start casting on stitches is just to place a marker so that it's easier for me to read my knitting and see how many that I'm casting on. I know that this is the end of my right back body of the sweater so I'm going to be doing the backwards loop cast on here and again, for my size, I am casting on eight stitches. So when we're doing the backwards loop cast on, we're holding the yarn in our left hand, needle in the right, and we're gonna take the yarn and we're gonna wrap it around our thumb to create a loop, and then go into that loop with your knitting needle, release that loop, and then pull that. Again, I'm gonna go around 
around my thumb through that loop with the needle, release the loop, pull that onto our needle. So I've got two there, around the thumb, through that loop, pull it on. Now I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I double check them again. And then I am ready to connect to my left needle. So I'm ready to go here with my yarn and I'm going to start stitching the stitches on my left needle. So here's our raglan. I'm going to go ahead and knit that. Remove this marker, I don't need that anymore. And then I need to knit across my back, or actually my front stitches here until I get to my next sleeve stitches. And then I will show you an alternate method for holding those stitches when I get there. All right, so I am ready to put my second sleeve stitches on hold. So I've knit across the front of my sweater. I'm here at my raglan stitch, which I'm going to knit, remove the marker, and then I have some cotton cording here that I am just going to place the stitches for my sleeve onto this spare yarn here that I have. It's a good idea to use a contrasting color that will allow you to differentiate your stitches from whatever you are holding your stitches with here. So my yarn is a different color so that I can see them and then I'm just transferring these stitches here onto that extra yarn and then I'll tie those up together so they don't slip off. And then I will cast on my required stitches for the underarm again. I'm going to show you another option for casting on in the middle of your knitting. And the second option is just a little bit sturdier. The stitches hold a little bit more. If you do the backwards loop cast on as you're knitting around your body, those stitches uh, or that cast on tends to stretch out a bit as you're moving around. And it will all come back together once you start knitting those cast on underarm stitches when you get to the body, but it seems a little loosey-goosey, so I like something that has a little bit more rigidity to it. All right, those are my sleeve stitches here on hold. I reached my raglan. I'm going to get rid of that marker. I don't need that there. Keeping my raglan stitch on the left needle, that will be stitched later. I'm going to bring my two extra yarn ends together here and tie them up for later. And then for this cast on, this is a cable cast on, it's a version of a knitted cast on. I'm going to turn my work, right now it's right side up, I'm going to turn it so I'm looking at the wrong side of my knitting. So now my working yarn here is coming from the left needle and I'm gonna be casting onto this left needle using my right needle. Now I again place a marker just so I can easily see my cast on stitches here so I know what I'm working with. My first stitch is going to be created by going in between the first and second stitch on my left or on my left needle here. And then I'm going to 
create a stitch right through there and bring that back onto the needle for my first cast on stitch. So I'm gonna remove that and just do that one more time. So through the first and second needle, or stitch with my needle, knit and bring that stitch onto the left needle. And I'm not pulling the working yarn too tightly here because you'll need some room here to get in between your stitches. And this is pretty sturdy for a cast on, so you can have a little bit more give there. I'm gonna go in between those stitches, knit another one, bring it up onto the needle. I've got three cast on stitches here. I'm gonna keep going, I need eight for my size. That's it, double check. Okay, I've got eight there. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this around again. So now my work is right side up. Here is the rest of my back body stitches here. My sleeve stitch is on hold. I'm connecting right needle to left needle, knitting that raglan stitch, removing that marker, marking the raglan, and then I'm going to continue around these back stitches until I get to my beginning of round here. And then at this point, now my body is separated from my sleeves. I have sleeves on hold here, I have sleeves on hold here, and now I have my body that I'm working around, including those cast on stitches on either side. And I will just be continuing to knit the body to our desired length.